Good afternoon, church. Today is Wednesday, April 8th. Just wanted to say hello and uh, give you just yet another pastoral update here from Cornerstone. We love you and we miss you. We hope you're staying safe and healthy. Couple events coming up online for you to tune into this week. Friday night, we have a Good Friday service that begins at seven. Obviously, we're going into our Passion Week this week in the life of the church. What a glorious, wonderful week. Perhaps there's no more important week in the life of the church, in the life of a believer where we celebrate um, the, the last few days of Jesus' life. Friday night, we are live streaming a Good Friday service at seven. We hope you'll tune into that. Saturday, we'll have regular service at six o'clock. We look forward to having you guys tune in to that as well. Sunday morning, we have a sunrise service at 6.30 in the morning. So hopefully you are able to uh, tune in and celebrate with us. And then of course, we have regular service times at 10 a.m. this Sunday. Uh, Easter is an interesting week. A lot of people that typically don't go to church suddenly kind of remember Easter and they they want to tune in or be a part of church. So Cornerstone Church family, I'd urge you, don't forget to invite your friends, your neighbors, your family members to tune in. They may be more apt to tune in this weekend maybe than any other weekend uh, throughout the year. But in any case, it's just another opportunity for them to hear the gospel, the good news of Jesus who paid the penalty for your sin and for mine. On that note, I wanted to share a brief note, uh, a brief uh, challenge. Uh, we've been studying the, the Gospel of Luke on Sunday, and so I'm gonna jump ahead just for today into Luke chapter 23. I read recently and was challenged by an idea that I'd like to pass on to you. It's a wonderful uh, observation, and it comes from the end of Luke chapter 23. Uh, this is after Jesus has been crucified, he has died, and Joseph of Arimathea goes to Pilate and asks to take Jesus' body down. Let's listen. I'm gonna pick up in verse 52, Luke 23, verse 52. This man, Joseph, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down and wrapped it in a linen shroud and laid him in a tomb cut in stone where no one had ever yet been laid. He laid him in a tomb cut in stone where no one had ever yet been laid. May I suggest to you, church, that that tomb was your tomb. That tomb was my tomb. No one had ever yet been laid in that tomb, but I should have been laid in that tomb. You should have been laid in that tomb in terms of our sin debt to God. That was an empty tomb that any one of us should have been in, and yet, and yet, God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we should have been in that tomb, he sent his own son to be in that tomb for us. This is the glorious truth of Easter. This is the, this is the glorious truth that we as followers of Jesus can claim and rest in, that though we deserved the wrath of God, though we deserve the penalty for our rebellion against God, he sent his own perfect, righteous, sinless son to be in that tomb to be on that cross in our place. May I suggest to you that tomb that Jesus, that we, that we remember Jesus filling this weekend was your tomb and it was my tomb. I hope that thought uh, characterizes our outlook and our thinking this week as we prepare to worship together as a body for Easter. Remember, we may be apart, we may be separate during this time of quarantine and uh, social distancing, but we've said this for years and we will continue to say it. The church is not a building. We are not a building. The church, may I suggest, is not even a crowd of people gathered together. That's not the church. The church, the, the ecclesia, is a people called out for a specific purpose of God. And right now, may I suggest, church, we have been called out to be his light, to be his salt, to be the aroma of life to be his ambassadors all throughout Licking County, Ohio, the United States, even the world. We have been called to be his people. Whether we're in a building together on a weekend or not, we are still the church. We still have a call and a mission and a purpose, and that is to share the good news of Christ as we saw here at the end of Luke 23, that Jesus was laid in the tomb 
that you should have been in, that I should have been in. That's the God we worship. That's the God we're celebrating this weekend. We hope you can join us and we look forward to having you with us. We love you, church. We miss you. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care.